And you've been seeing what's going on. In the past few weeks, the radical left Democrats and their fake news allies have unveiled their newest hoax that Donald J. Trump and the Republican Party are a threat to democracy. Do you believe it? Can you believe it? We're, this is their new line, you know. It's, here we go again, Russia, 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 Mueller, 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 Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine. One hoax after another. How about Pfizer? They don't talk about the fake Pfizer report. Signed. And so bad, right? Signed. But no, I'm not a threat. I will save democracy. The threat is crooked Joe Biden. That's the threat. And they think that the threat to democracy, and that's what it is. It's a hoax. It's a new, we call it now, the threat to democracy hoax. Because <laughs> that's what it is. These guys are so good with misinformation, disinformation. It's a slight difference, you know. You know that, Sid, right? There is a slight difference. If you want, we can talk about it, but let's not bore the audience. Misinformation. You know that, Bannon? Misinformation and disinformation. It's slightly, it's like all of the prisoners that are coming out from all over the world in jails and prisons. So people say, why do you say jails and prisons? Because there is a slight difference. Well, there's also a difference in dis and miss, right? And all of these hoaxes and all of them have been created. This is all they do well. They are sick people. They don't care about our country. They should spend the time on China, screwing us on trade. And we would have the greatest country. We would have the strong. If they use that genius, that sick genius, they could do some wonderful things, but they don't because they're sick. They think the threat to democracy hoax will save Biden from having created the worst inflation in our country's history, a fragile economy that may soon end in a depression, much like 1929. Have you heard that before? You watch. We are very, very close to a depression, the likes of which you have never seen. We owe $36 trillion, and this guy has no clue. And you know that Mitch McConnell gave him $10 trillion for them to hand away like candy. He's almost, I could say, and maybe he is worse than any of them, that he allowed them to have votes. He needed 10 votes, 12 votes. He needed different votes. He gave them many times votes. You add it up, it's close to 10 trillion dollars and they go and they hand it out like candy and it's the one thing they can say and the only reason they got it is because Mitch McConnell and his little gang of people gave it to him and it's a disgrace to the Republican Party and it's a disgrace to our nation disgrace <laughs>